My name is Charlotte Rogan, and I'm here at Woodstock Academy to talk about my novel, The Lifeboat. The Lifeboat tells the story of Grace Winter, a 22-year-old woman who survives three weeks in an overcrowded lifeboat, only to be put on trial for her life. Grace's attorneys suggest she write her story down as part of her defense, and the result is a first-person, day-by-day, diary-like account. On one level, the book is sort of a straightforward survival story, but on another, it's a psychological drama about a complicated and not particularly reliable protagonist. I found the germ of the story in my husband's old criminal law text, and I was expecting a dry legal tome, but instead I found the book fascinating. Two things about the book grabbed me. One is um, the way the law tries to tell a story in a way that we can judge it. And I wanted to do just the opposite when I told Grace's story. I wanted to show how hard it is to judge people for things they do in situations that we've certainly never been in, but maybe we've never even contemplated. Two of the cases in the book involved shipwrecked sailors who were put on trial after surviving weeks at sea. And so the other thing that interested me were the moral dilemmas involved in the lifeboat situation. These sailors survived horrendous circumstances only to come home and have to survive again in a courtroom. But if writing is your passion, I'd say I have three pieces of advice for you. One is read. Read everything you can get your hands on and try to figure out how your literary heroes did it, how they created the effects that you admire. The other thing is to become your own editor. Um, writers tend to fall in love with their words. Uh, other people might not be quite so enamored of them as you are, so you need to be ruthless when you're editing yourself. And then the last thing I'd say is to close the door on imagined observers, to people you think are looking over your shoulder and watching you write. Frankly, your friends and your mother have nothing to do with it. Uh, one of my first writing teachers told me that people who want to be liked can never be writers, and I think that's what he was getting at, is that if you're constantly imagining your audience and wanting those people to like you, you are not going to be truthful on the page. I love book clubs, and uh, thank you for either buying my book or finding it in your library and giving it a chance. I think the wonderful thing about book clubs is I think we've all had the experience where we haven't really loved a book until we've discussed it with someone. And then whoever it is, whether it's a teacher or a friend or a colleague, shows us a back door into the material that allows us to enter the world of a novel in the way that was closed to us the first time we picked it up. So I think book clubs are really um, a method for people to continue their education long after they left any kind of formal academia. The Lifeboat has been optioned. Anne Hathaway apparently read it and was interested. She got a screenwriter on board, a guy named Bill Broyles, who wrote, um, he wrote Castaway and he wrote, uh, I think, Apollo 13 and Jarhead. In any case, they seemed interested in it, and so they, they bought an option on the book and they shopped it around to various studios. So it's been picked up by a combination of Working Title, which is a British company, and Focus Features in the U.S. And there seems to be some momentum involved. Um, I haven't heard much. I did get a call from the screenwriter over Christmas who wanted to kind of discuss the plot, which was pretty fun uh, talking to him. But I haven't really heard much. I think those things take a time to, to kind of work through the system. But cross your fingers. Hopefully we'll see what Anne Hathaway can do with the role.